Hi, I'm Adam Ring with Innovative IDM. I've heard a lot of talk lately about safety PLCs. When should I use a safety PLC and when should I just use individual safety controllers? Well, a lot of that has to do with your particular machine that you're trying to guard. If you have multiple zones on a machine, for example, there's three or four different doors that could be opened in order to clear a jam or maybe there's some covers over different components that are spinning or possible pinch points. You're typically going to protect those with some sort of a safety device. Maybe it's a safety switch, a safety light curtain. Each one of those is typically going to have a controller tied to it in order to monitor and look for faults and ensure that if someone opens a door or removes a cover that the machine stops into a safe manner. So, if you're dealing with a large machine where there may be multiple zones or multiple covers that you want to be guarding at the same time, you may want to choose to only shut down part of a machine if a certain event happens. In that case, you can use a safety PLC. Just like its counterpart, the regular control PL, you know, programmable logic controller, or PLC, you can wire in various inputs, which would be like safety interlock switches, safety mats, safety light curtains. Um, actually write a program that decides how to respond when it gets a input from each of those devices. And so for example, you could have a guard on one end of a machine open and it shuts down just that portion of the machine while it leaves the rest of the machine free to run. So typically the breaking point is if you've got more than say three safety controllers on a given machine, you probably want to start looking at a safety PLC. Very, very easy to implement, easy to program, and gets the job done. If you'd like to learn more about how safety PLCs could help you in your application, take a look at InnovativeIDM.com. We'd be glad to help. And remember, we're the home of the legendary customer experience.